2018 Mercedes-Benz Sprinter Worker Review. Even though rapid ejaculation got a high-end badge, the Sprinter Worker is usually a willing and able workhorse. Business people are very mindful one thing, if you can find the same functionality and reliability on the cheap, obtain that option. In the cargo van world, the 2018 Mercedes-Benz Sprinter Worker is merely that option. It features a similar cavernous cargo bay and 3.0-litre V6 turbo diesel engine as being the Sprinter. The difference is the fact that Mercedes slims along the workers' option packages and features to learn effectively to manufacture and selling. The standard Sprinter can be purchased in a rainbow of colors, comes with an available all-wheel drive system, and multiple length and roof height configurations. The worker, as opposed, can be purchased in white, is rear-wheel drive only, and may be been in just three body configurations. There is also no passenger or wagon version in the worker. With any with the three setups, the worker incorporates a 3,501 pound payload and 5,000 pound tow for customization. Mercedes offers just two option packages. Deciding on perhaps the Sprinter worker meets your requirements comes down to your requirements. If there exists a worker version which works for you, it is a great way to stretch your budget. Otherwise, you will likely need to obtain the regular Sprinter for full entry to Mercedes customization options. What's new? The four-cylinder engine is discontinued, along with the rear-view camera is standard. Fears not very much to figure out with the purchase of a Sprinter worker, at the least from the factory. Opting to the convenience package is usually a good idea because it includes upgraded mirrors, cruise control plus a multifunction controls. Trim levels and features. The 2018 Mercedes-Benz Sprinter Worker is often a full-size cargo van accessible in two wheelbase lengths. The short wheelbase 144-inch version can be purchased with either the common roof or perhaps a higher roof option. The long wheelbase 170-inch model comes with the high roof only. All are powered with a 3.0-litre diesel V6 188 horsepower, 325 pound-feet of torque plus a 5-speed automatic. Standard equipment includes 16-inch steel wheels, 180-degree opening rear doors, a passenger side sliding door, aircon, a tilt handless coping leader, front cup holder, front seat armrests, Bluetooth, a rear view camera, a 5.8 inch center display, along with a sound system through an auxiliary audio jack and USB port. Highlights with the options list include cargo rails, hardboard side paneling, and three packages with the cargo van. The convenience package incorporates heated side mirrors, cruise control, automatic wipers, a multifunction controls and trailer pre-wiring. The utility package incorporates convenience package items and adds a wood cargo floor and lead cargo lights, among more features. Many upfitter options, for example interior racks, partitions and roof racks, are also available which enable it to be installed from your local dealer. Trim tested. Each vehicle typically will come in multiple versions which can be fundamentally similar. The S in this particular review use our drive with the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter 2500-144WB passenger W high roof turbo 3.0 liters V6 diesel, 5 speed automatic, RWD. Note, the Sprinter that had been tested has accoutrements and features for passenger transport but our findings remain broadly applicable to the year's Sprinter worker. The turbocharged six-cylinder diesel engine is often a bit slow to acquire up to speed. Low-speed maneuvers create some challenges because of this big rig. Acceleration This 6,000-pound van did 06 miles per hour in 11.5 seconds. 
The 3.0 litre turbo diesel V6 doesn't feel powerful from the line, but once in control it's pretty an easy task to maintain the truck's forward momentum. Braking The Sprinter slowed from 60 miles per hour in 138 feet during our emergency panic stop test. The brakes remain consistent and feel in satisfaction during testing, in addition to out on the street in typical driving. Steering The steering is precise, with the van's purpose as being a pure people mover. The effort is heavy enough to feel steady on the road yet light enough for parking area duty. Handling The Sprinter is fairly narrow considering how tall it can be. Taking sharp turns at speed is just not this van's forte. An assertive stability control system lends a hand whether it senses the van going beyond the brink. Drivability Despite its dimensions, this conference room on wheels is an easy task to drive. Tight parking lots can make some stress due to its size, plus the modest backup camera is simply somewhat helpful. Comfort Passenger comfort is usually a priority with the Sprinter. Occupants will see ample space to watch out. The seats are reasonably comfortable over long distances. The ride quality improves as being the passenger head count increases. Seat comfort. The driving position is upright, though the seats are snug even during longer drives. The rear seats provide ample leg, hip and headroom. Ride comfort. Without question, rear most passengers will quickly realize the sprinter's ride bouncier than others up front. Still, it's perfectly acceptable whether empty or fully occupied. Interior The sprinter worker offer plenty of room for individuals and cargo. Driver aids exist to help you maneuver the van in tight quarters. But parking still remains quite a job with such a large vehicle. Ease of usage. All controls are within reach on the driver and functionally intuitive. This is an older version on the Mercedes Cayman system, therefore the layout is not hard. Getting and jetting out. The Sprinter includes a step leading in grossed, that's necessary considering it sits so high from the ground. The doors are large, so a number of people may find them somewhat heavy to look at and close. Roominess. The front seats fit most physiques fine. Farther back, the bigger bench seats offer many leg and headroom. Only then does hip room get tight. Visibility. The massive windows, an optional parking aid system and also a rear view camera perform the duties of needed driver aids. That said, you will still find several blind spots on this large van. Quality. The building on our test sprinter was commendable. We didn't hear any squeaks or rattles. It was solid and true to the level of building we expect from Mercedes Benz. Utility. Especially in cargo or crew configuration, that is one from the most utilitarian vans available. Whether owning a contracting business or even a professional mountain biking team. The Sprinter will carry your stuff. But some rival vans can tow more.